Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Works and welcome to my channel. First of all, wishing each and everyone happy holidays. I hope your gaming indulgence is going to be multiplied and increased throughout this holiday period. Whatever you celebrate, may it bring you bountiful blessings, all of that stuff. Anyway, now with someone like me with the holiday season fastly approaching, you would think that I'd be very, very excited to be just gaming the hell out of my PS4 at this present moment in time well you'd be right in thinking that but a weird thing happened to me a few days ago um which is going to kind of lead into the subject matter that i want to talk about but this basically happened i suffered from a bout of shooter apathy now for those who don't know what shooter apathy is i'm going to explain to you i don't know if it happens to you but it happens to me periodically not that regular but it does happen you find yourself basically playing a game right that's in the genre of shooters, right? And it doesn't matter what game you play, you're not getting no traction. And I don't mean, you know, getting ahead in the game. You could be getting ahead in the game, but it's actually just using the same controls to perform the same action in the same type of genre. Now, don't get me wrong. This has nothing to do with the games. It has nothing to do with the friends I basically play with. It just got to a point where in this instance, I had to turn off my PlayStation 4. I turned it off, turned it off, turned it off, and went to sleep at like around half past five in the afternoon one day last week, and just didn't play on my PS4 for like four days. And um, like I said, it's got nothing to do with the games because I do appreciate the different types of shooters that they are, but for the very fact that they're just shooters, and that's all I'm doing, shooting. I'm not being cerebrally challenged in any of the games, apart from probably Uncharted, the collection. But other than that, I'm not really challenged. But with the rest, I'm just pointing and shooting. And that sometimes can just numb your brain. Well, it numbs my brain. So I decided to stop playing for like a few days. And then upon switching back on my PS4, I decided to play Grand Theft Auto 5 for my sins. Now, this is the subject I want to talk about. Um, and it's in the spirit of the holiday season and in a continuation from that as we go into the new year. I want to talk about gaming friendships. Now, I thought that people held gaming friendships in a universal regard. By that, I mean, okay, you play a game and you see a random that you basically play with and for the most part you don't you know you're not really talking to them because they don't have no mic but you can see the way they play and you know you, you friend request them or you play with somebody or a random that does have a mic and you like the way how they how they communicate and you form a friendship in that way now to me if i have friends in my circles right they are of an asset to me in terms of the enjoyment that I get out of games. Now with Grand Theft Auto 5 in particular, it's one of the most, I wouldn't say tedious, but I think it's one of the most laborious games to play. Not only with the problem of getting kicked out of the lobby, but it's actually trying to do the heist, trying to find a lobby with people that's got mics because you cannot play heist unless you have some kind of communication going. Do you know what I mean? It's just as simple as that. And then, you know, getting into games where, or into heists in particular, where the rest of your crew doesn't have a mic, but they want to make demands as to what role they want to play. And that kind of pisses me off, you know? Um, so you need friendships. You need to basically engage in some friendships. And of late, I've made a few friends namely by the um the uncharted 4 multiplayer beta but what i'm finding about these friends that i'm basically having and it's no disrespect to them but you know i don't think they're holding gaming friendships in the, in the same regard as i do because i'm not one of these gamers that just wants to have friends to make up the numbers for me to do what the fuck i need to do to get ahead that's just not the way i play and with playing with some of these friends that i had in Grand Theft Auto, I noticed that was exactly the vibe I was basically getting. You know, it was a case where we were doing a heist. I was assigned to be 
that particular character. This other dude was assigned to be a police officer. We tried the heist and it wasn't working. It wasn't on my part that it wasn't working, but it just wasn't working. And the dude just says, right, I don't want to play the policeman anymore. Somebody else is going to freaking do it, you know? So the communication in that way didn't translate well to every one of us. It was, it just sounded like I want to do this shit, but I want to do this shit properly. And I want to do this shit by being a character that I want to basically be. If I can't be this character, then I want to be something else. And that's not the way, you know, real criminals, <laughs> you know, strategize a freaking ice. You know, you can't just freaking change your mind. You can't just be a, a getaway driver one minute and then you want to be the freaking main henchman. It don't work like that. And in gaming, it's no different, especially when you're playing games like Grand Theft Auto V. You know, it works off the same principle of, of camaraderie, you know, honor amongst thieves, if you like. I know they say that there is no honor amongst thieves, but you know the point I'm trying to make, right? So it just felt laborious to the point where one of my other brethren joined my party right that that we were experiencing that problem and he joined my party the day after and he said to me ridden boy i felt your pain man i felt your pain because he knows the type of gamer that i am you know and we have a, a, a an understanding of each other's communication when we play any kind of co-op so it's not just with grand theft or it's just across all co-ops and across all multiplayers, you know, we just have that understanding. But having friendships with people that just want to have you make up the numbers, I don't really consider that a friendship whatsoever. Do you know what I mean? So my appeal to anybody, right, is number one, I hope you got a headset for freaking Christmas because, you know, for some people, that's what they need. And for other people, that may have a headset and choose not to want to talk to nobody. If that's the case, then you might as well play single player. You know what I mean? You really should play single player and get ahead in that. But some people want the cake and they want to freaking eat it too. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's not about you getting everything. It's about the shared experience of everybody getting a decent slice of the freaking action. Do you know what I mean? That's what I consider gaming friendships to be because Sometimes it's not about the game, you know, sometimes you, you can play a bad game, you know, you can play a game that's absolutely shit, right? But you can play a game that has everything that we we want in a game, but it can just seem like shit because people just don't follow certain protocol and etiquette within gaming, you know? I know there are people that, like I said, that are not sociable in that respect, but you can't be going into a freaking multiplayer co-op experience right and be antisocial that just does not make any sense whatsoever you can roll the dice and basically spin the roulette wheel and hope you find um a random who is very instinctive in the way he plays and instinctive in adapting to the way how everybody else plays you know but for the most part especially in gta 5 i find myself coming out of freaking heist more regular than i actually complete one and this is a game you can literally waste your life on. It's not even a case of um, killing time, you know, because that's what some good games do. They kill a lot of time. But Grand Theft Auto V is a game that I find myself wasting a lot of time on. And it's sad, you know, because of the friendships that could be made in playing the game. That's why sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes envious of people that has great friendship with each other that can play any game they basically put their hand to and it's because they they know they're gonna get a really good experience out of the game even though they might be shit at the game they're all gonna have that shit experience and just have fun which that's what i think gaming friendships are all about do you know what i mean you know with co-op gaming i i don't come i don't compete in co-op gaming i like to be an asset in co-op gaming and I play with my friends in order to achieve the objective in co-op gaming and it's as simple as that but my overall message is you know when you invite people to become your friend or your friend request them and what have you just take those little things on board you know what I mean because some people 
you know they, they really have a vested interest in the time they put into a game not to say that they're elite players in that respect but they do invest their time into something that they want to have a good experience with do you know what i'm saying you know it's it's their leisure time you know so in that respect it just needs to work that way if you want to have a really good experience with your gaming and that's more or less all i have to say for now um apart from what i've already said in the beginning wishing each and every one happy holidays um may you long be gaming into 2016 and beyond it's gonna be some great games coming out in 2016 and um the two games that i'm looking really most forward to is the division and uncharted 4. um the division i'm having slight reservations about but Uncharted 4 without a doubt is definitely going to be one of those games that I'm going to be playing a whole lot of. Yeah, so is with that, I'm letting you guys know that um, that's what my interests are for 2016. Let me know what you are looking forward to playing in 2016. Um, if you have the time to even look at my video. Um, so I just want to thank all my PSN friends. Um, all my YouTube subscribers, thank you for watching, thanks for stopping by, and as always, you know the cool, whatever the game, whatever the format, whatever the media, whatever the genre, happy gaming, because that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, and until I catch you guys on the next one, well, the next one next year, stay blessed, and I'll leave you with the tail out of this video, Magan.